With the diagnosis of the second case of Ebola in Texas and the first time it's been transmitted on U.S. soil, Oklahoma health care workers are on high alert. We learned yesterday a nurse who had been treating the first victim contracted the deadly virus down in Dallas. News on Six Anchor, Ivana Johnson's live with what Tulsa health care workers are doing to perhaps be prepared. Ivana? Well, doctors here say there's minimal risk to the average Tulsa, but still emergency workers and medical staff across Oklahoma are preparing just in case. The average Tulsa doesn't need to worry about Ebola. That's the message from the emergency management medical director, Dr. Jeffrey Goodlow. We have literally hundreds of committed people that are spending their entire work days and nights right now making sure that we have the best answers possible for Ebola. He says the greatest concern is for first responders and health care providers. Health officials are still trying to determine when the 26-year-old nurse contracted the virus while treating Dallas Ebola patient Thomas Eric Duncan. The CDC says using these fluid-resistant gowns along with masks and gloves will stop the spread of the deadly virus. They don't have to be the space suits uh, that some people have, have seen or, or thought about. Uh, at least that is the best knowledge that we have today. We certainly are prepared here in Tulsa in our EMS system that if those guidelines change, we will know about that, not in a period of days, but in a period of hours. Every ambulance and hospital in Green Country already have the proper personal protective equipment, referred to in the medical community as PPE. Dr. Goodlow says health care providers need to use the buddy system to put on and remove the equipment. That's the only way, he says, to ensure the vulnerable areas of the body are covered. We also think the removal of that PPE is just as important as the proper donning or, or placing of that PPE. And, and that's certainly an area that we're concentrating some educational efforts on locally as well. Now we know all the attention has been on Ebola, but Dr. Goodlow says everyone should get a flu shot. He points out that more people will die from the flu than they will from Ebola. If you want more of his tips and to see the unedited version of the interview, just go to our website. Reporting live downtown, Ivana Johnson, News on 6.